Hi guys, in this video I will show you how I created grass and leaves using Speedtree. I will start with the grass and then leaf. First of all, we need to import textures to create a grass. After that, we need to enable two sided option to make foliage visible from front and back. Next step is to create cutouts from the atlas texture in this case. I have added five cutouts for five grass variations. To create actual cutout mesh, click on the edit and then drag or add vertices to create your cutout mesh. Y dot with the orange line is a tool to set the pivot and orientation of the cutout mesh. To create grass clumps, you can add tubes from the branches press and change generation mode to absolute. I have also randomized a number of tubes to plus or minus 7, so it has more or less stems in the end. To change radius of the tube, go to the skin tab, remove the parent value and use absolute value instead and change this curve to make the same width from start to the end of the tube. In order to move tubes closer to each other, change the first and last boundaries value options. In this case, I used these values. This means the tubes won't be spread too far from the origin. To make tubes slightly angled in different directions, add a randomization value to the start angle and gravity as well. Since we won't really need tubes or polygons, we can convert them to spines only under the shape tab. Finally, we can add a leaf node. Add the material and let Speedtree use any graded cutout for more variations. In the leaf node, go to the gen tab and boundaries first option and change it to 1. This will make sure that the leaf will appear at the very tip of the spine. To align grass with the spine, go to the orientation tab and change the align value to 1. Since we don't need grass to float in space, you can lower the spine length to something really small. To change the length of a stem, add randomization for the size parameter under the skin tab. And also, if you want to have more specific control over which cutout to use, add the same material multiple times while changing the cutout number and its weight value. This is actually one way of creating the grass clamps. Another way is by using just a single leaf node. Here's a quick time lapse of how I created it. To add wind, I used the wind wizard with the grass option turned on. I only used game's shared option while everything else was disabled. Keep in mind that those settings need to be adjusted directly in Unreal Engine. To create leaf mesh, I used pretty much the same approach as with grass. Here is a quick time lapse of the whole setup. The main difference here is that I used a front node instead of a leaf node, as well as added randomization to the spine length as it affects the front node. For the wind, I used a level 1 branch motion that was enabled in the tubes node and the animation tab. Make sure that checkbox is enabled. And that's about it. If you found it valuable, give a like, subscribe or share with a friend. Source files are available at my Patreon. See you soon, take care, have a lot of joy.